Welcome back to Added Time. Uh, we're here to review Sheffield United 1, Newcastle 0, Sheffield United's first win of the season. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, because uh, then you'll never miss a video. And we're, we're uploading quite frequently at the moment. So, yeah, but anyway, uh, Ryan Fraser got sent off in the first half and then a Billy Sharp penalty in the, se- in the second half. Got Chris Wilder, his first win of the season. Uh, guys, what did you make of it? Great, great result for Sheffield. I'm happy for them. I think they've Sheffield uh, earned a result so far this season. Yes, so I think they finally, finally got what they deserved. So, yeah, we were watching what Manchester say, later as well. I can't wait to watch Manchester <laughs> oh, versus yeah, Burnley are. later. <laughs> <laughs> Just for any triggering people, but anyway, yeah, uh, it, it it was quite. Um, I mean, they looked really good in the first half and in the whole game, to be honest. But the one thing they're missing for me is just an actual good striker who's going to put away these goals. So they had so many chances. They should have. They should have bought Haller. To be honest, the <laughs> thing is exactly what they're yeah. missing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly what they're missing. You know, clinical striker who does a lot for the team. Look at Brewster, he's a fantastic player in my eyes, but he's more of like, he's not what Sheffield United need. They're a, they need some a fox in the box, like a Neil Malpai who's just there in, in the box, who's going to tuck them away. Brewster's more like a Werner type player where he's he needs like a free ball to run onto and then finish. And you're just not going to get that with Sheffield what... United. Yeah, building that. I don't know why they bought an unproven striker as well. Like It's a bit of a weird decision for them to yeah. invest that much money where they're definitely not the most financially stable or don't have the month funds to compete at the top of the table with clubs. Why yeah. they bought an unproven striker is quite I mean, an odd decision. But... It's not it's not like they haven't spent a lot of money on strikers either because Brewster's over twenty mil. Uh McBurney was McBurney close. McBurney was twenty. Mil. Yeah. Was 20 uh, was... Lee, Lisa Mousse was That's about, what I mean. It's just poor, 10 it's more mil. Poor, poor spending of the money, yeah. I'd say. Oliver, Oliver Burke as well. Strikers are nearly fifty mil. Yeah. Yeah, fifty million for them three strikers is ridiculous. It's, like, it's... It's a bit of uh, yeah, a bit of bad scouting, really. Spending their money a bit more wisely. Yeah, but anyway, Sheffield United have their first win of the season. Let's talk a bit about Newcastle because they were horrific even before the red card. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't I didn't watch the first half. I was at work. Um, But um, second half, I mean, I know they had the red cards. Obviously, they had to sit back and then the goal kicked them into life, so to speak. Um, a bit of a blunder at the back. I don't know. You, you boys caught the last. The oh yeah, seconds. from uh, Jaden Bogle. Uh, Bogle, yeah, Christ. Um, interesting, but I think I, I, I genuinely do hand on heart think that could be Sheffield United's only win of the season. I, I think they're that bad. Newcastle for me, I think. I mean, we're going to do some uh, mid-season predictions coming up soon on the channel. But for me, I'll give you a little preview. Uh, they're going down. I think they look the most likely to join West Brom and. Uh, and Sheffield United at the moment, I can I can see Fulham and Brighton having stuff they can do to get out of it. But for Newcastle, they're just like atrocious Brighton. at the moment. Mm, yeah, yeah. Brighton look like they'll be fine. Yeah, they um, just need to start tucking away the finishes. You know, Newcastle. Excuse my French, but Newcastle were yeah. Dying. For, for any sofa score users, uh, Callum Wilson got five point six rating today. He missed a great opportunity in the first half where he had a, a free header, just put it wide. I mean, it's a bit of a shame. I, I, I watched a lot of Callum Wilson when he was uh, younger. Obviously, started at Coventry. Yeah, Coventry. Um, yeah, um, sorry for Harry leaving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was quite the player. Obviously, he was playing. They had a really, really good team at the, at the time. Obviously, Leon Clark as well. Um, he did look to be the better of the two. But since then, it's just been like... He went the same way as Leon Best, though. They've all ended up at Newcastle and somehow mm. just ruined their careers. It's, it is a shame because he's probably probably one of the most promising English strikers at one point now. Yeah. Just... I mean, in a lot of games for Newcastle this season, you can see he's, he's a quality player, but I'm just not sure what's he's going not what on they with need. him. He's yeah. Not what they need. But anyway, a big night for Sheffield United. Uh, their next five games, I don't know if you've seen, but they're quite hard. I think they've got like four of the five big six teams in them. It's going to be hard for them to get out of it. But anyway, guys, remember to like, uh, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't, if you're watching this before the Man United game, then we'll have a reaction on that coming up soon. If you're watching it after, then uh, go watch that one now. So see you guys later.